Morning guys, as you can see I look a bit, a bit rough today, well not rough, I've just been, uh, had a couple of drinks on that. Hey darling, I've had a couple of drinks with the boys. And we've got, who's that? Macy. I know he's Macy, how you doing baby? Yeah. A couple of drinks with the boys. And we went to the arcade. Yeah, she went to the arcade. And we played Um, I've got a couple of things to do, I'm going to sort out the spare room and then I take room for a walk. So I might just vlog it so you guys can see it. Yeah, so. And the weather looked absolutely awful as always at this time of year in manchester are you okay we're going city who what who's who and dad no but you know, what, what what team who are you going to see city what, uh, manchester city so you're going into the city time again? Whoa, it's that time again oh is that is that time again i'm taking my boy for a walk spending some time with him because he's my boy i'm gonna vlog the walk so let's go guys we're going to take him up, up here. He likes to go up here. We've got this ball. We're going to take him for a walk because he absolutely loves it. First time, I'm going to be trying. I'm going to try and use my GoPro more and more and more because the camera quality is absolutely amazing, and the the, the, the actual sound on it is even better than my phone. Come on, that's what we plan to do. But last time I came up here, as you saw in the other video, <laughs> there was two beasts of a dog. I have to keep an eye on him just to make sure. Especially when he's off his lead, that he's not going to get into any trouble. Because um, I'd hate for him anything to happen to him, so it's more for his sort of well being, you know. I'm going to video a lot, <laughs> so if I fall over, I'm not going to be happy. In the summertime, this place is it's really, really nice. I take the girls up here, we call it the Fairy Garden, because where I'm going to take you now, these old bluebells come and it looks really, really picturesque. So we call it the fairy garden, we love it. But this isn't good. It's like a, it's like a swamp. Too muddy. Come on, I'm not going down there now. I doubt if I'll be able to get back up here. What are you doing with that? What are you doing with that? He, he likes to pick up trees. What's this? What are you doing? It's too big for you, isn't it? Eh? Is that too big for you? Right, so we're going to put this camera up, mate. And then we're going to get you. No, what are you doing? <laughs> put it down. Away. Away, go on, no, away, go, go, no. Right. right hopefully if this works, <laughs> I'm gonna try and show you how you reward him straight away for doing something that he loves. So what's this? And he loves the ball, don't he? What's this? Right. You, that. Good boy. <laughs> He's a good boy. Bring it here, come on, bring it here, bring it here, come on, leave, ready, leave, away, stay. Now, these are just the simple things, as soon as he does, he does what you want him to do and he's given the word of command, you reward him straight away. So, heel, no, no, heel, down, no, no, you're not in place, right, that's it, yes. Down. Yes, good boy. Good boy. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Leave. Leave. Run. Up. Leave. Away. Run. Stay. <sighs> what can we do now? Right. Yeah. That's just a couple of things he's, he's really good at. He's, he's not a young dog anymore, so we don't really do that much anymore. He's more of a, um, a family pet, so there's no need to do it all the time. It's just, when you've got a dog as clever as Ren, he actually really loves the interaction. It stimulates them. 
and he, he absolutely adores it. Right, no, don't rip, no, don't rip, leave, 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 ah, away. Every every few days, 10, 15 minutes with him, just to just to stimulate him, and it doesn't take him long to absolutely destroy any toy. No, no. I'm trying to get to sit like a rabbit. I have taught him, but it's, it's not something he's done for a long time. Yes, good boy! Good boy! He's a good boy! Come on then. Come on then. Right, that's it. Just a bit of things that Ren can do. Uh, he's a really, really clever dog. Uh, proud of him. One of the things to remember, I think I've said it in a couple of other videos, Try and have a separate toy that you use to train him with. He normally has a tennis ball because he likes the, when he bites it, like bounces in his mouth. Um, and only bring it out when you're gonna train him. And he'll know when he sees that particular toy or the treat, he'll know that he's, been, he's gonna have that interaction with you. And it's like your dog, he'll like switch on. He'll like, he'll know what's coming. Um, but obviously that's further on down the line. You've got to get him to do the basics first, but try and find something that the dog absolutely really loves and only use it at certain times when you're training him or trying to get to do what you want him to do one more tip as well something not to do ever ever to do is throw sticks for dogs don't ever throw a stick for a dog because you don't know where it's going to land and it could be stuck up in on the ground and if he goes bouncing towards it it may not be pointed but if he goes running towards it and he tries to grab it and it's sticking out of the ground, it could, and it has done in the past to other dogs, um, down the back of the dog's throat and rip the inside of the mouth or even worse, the inside of the back of the throat. And I'm afraid if that happens, there's not much you can do for him. So don't ever, ever throw um, a stick for a dog. Yeah, so gonna nip to Ikea, see if I can find myself a desk. One of them, uh, what mates, uh, Robbo, um, he just brought himself a desk for his laptop, for his gaming station sort of thing, so he can play Call of Duty and all that sort of thing. So I'm, I need, to, I want to try and get one. Here yeah, now, guys. So I'm going to go inside, see if we can find a desk. So the next time you see me, is when I'm inside. I absolutely love this place. <laughs> it's like a little maze. There's little houses everywhere. Keep to the left, apparently. TV cabinets. Got lost around here. Also. Rob got one for me the other day, and I actually like the one he got. That slides under, like that, so you can have it all tucked away. I think, yeah. I think that's the one I'm gonna go for, actually. Something basic and simple, nothing too over the top. Now I've just gotta figure out how you get the thing. I don't like shopping at all. Now the chair is a different matter. I'll have to wait for a few weeks time when I can afford the chair. Oh, 
when you're in a rush and you can't get nowhere. Looking for aisle 22 and it's shutting in 10 minutes. We need to get a, get a move on. Found it. Aisle 22, location 31. I'd better come down the wrong friggin' side now. Nope, it's definitely down here. Aisle location 31. There we go. That one just there. Now I've got to try and get it in my car. As in the famous words of my good friend, Mr. Christopher Ascroft, no way. One man job. <laughs> now I've got to find somewhere to pay for it. Because I've got to struggle with this, I shall see you guys probably back at home. So guys, you asked me, um, so I put together a compilation of about four or five, I think, um, tricep exercises. It's what I do, I do the, the, the type of exercise I do, it's called push-pull legs. So say if you start on a Monday, I do everything push, which is normally the chest, the triceps, and the front delts. So the front delts are these muscles that come at the front. Obviously the chest, is three parts of the chest, and when you work your chest, you also work your triceps as well. So I normally do the chest first, a little bit of delts, and then I do the triceps. On a Tuesday, say, I would do everything uh, pull, which is your back, your rear delts, and your biceps, because your biceps do the pulling motion, your triceps do the pushing motion. On a Wednesday, I would normally do legs, or whatever, whatever work day it falls on, I would do legs on the third day. Then I would take a day off. Um, my legs are struggling a bit, so I'll probably do a little bit more on the legs. But anyway, I've just put together a few clips. I hope it helps. What I'll do is I'll um, play a video and then I'll talk about it. I'm not going to give you all the sort of muscle form formulation, formulations, muscle formation. I'm going to give it really simple so that hopefully you can understand. So let's go. I hope this works. <laughs> This one's called the uh, cable tricep extension. What I do, I tip my body slightly and I bring it across my chest um, under control. Shoulder blades always back. Never bring your shoulders forward. So roll your shoulders back as if you're in the army. So you've got a flat back, straight shoulders. It's about posture as well, so you don't actually hurt yourself. And just bring it across the front of your body, nice and slowly under control. And as you do it, try, as you come to the point where it's the most extended, Squeeze your tricep, hold it for a second, and then one, two, three seconds back up. Okay, um, it's called time of attention. So the more time of attention you can give a muscle, the more um, you're going to damage it. Because all you're doing is slightly damaging your muscle. Okay, so therefore you get the most growth out of it because you don't actually grow in the gym. All you're doing in the gym is damaging your muscle. You grow literally outside of the gym. This is what I do. So if it helps you guys, brilliant. If it helps one person, fantastic. There may be somebody watching this as well, I know how to do that. That's fine. But if it helps one person, you know, that means I've done a good job. Similar sort of exercise than before. This is a single arm cable tricep extension. Similar to the last exercise, but you're actually facing the, the machine now. Um, same principles as before, shoulder blades back, not too far back, not so you sort of, you try to get your shoulder blades to touch, but just so they sit nice and comfortable, they don't want to be forward, they really don't because you're going to end up injuring yourself and you're not going to be able to focus on that individual muscle that you're trying to work, all the muscles are going to come into play um, and you're not going to be able to work that individual tricep because what you're trying to do is work that particular muscle group and it's all about your posture making sure you stood in the correct position to get the most out of it. That's all I'm trying to do is give you the information that I know so you guys can get the best out of it. So same as before, make sure your arms, I think it's perpendicular, I think that's the word, basically straight down. Shoulder blades back, squeeze three seconds, and when you get to the, the lowest point, oh, make sure your wrist is straight. None of this bending of the wrist, it's not a wrist exercise. You need to make sure that wrist is straight. Not like that or like that, straight. So when you bring it down at the very um, full extension of your arm, squeeze that tricep, so really squeeze it, concentrate, mind-muscle connection, and then back up again, okay? Now, if you want to do strength training, it's different to doing just normal weight exercises. The, the, the trick is lower reps, higher weight. 
because the more reps you do, the more tired your muscles are going to be. So therefore you're going to tire quicker. So you have a lighter weight. Normally what we do in the summer months, you lower, lower the weight, increase the reps. So that it's more like a cardiovascular. So you, you're putting more energy into it. Okay. So you're going to burn more calories and then hopefully but also in conjunction with a bit of CV, you'll lose that extra body fat and you'll look defined. In the winter, five times five, six times six, or eight times, uh, seven times five, whatever you want to do, but it's a low number of reps, but a higher weight. So therefore you're not ex exhausting the muscle, so therefore you can actually lift more. And that's when you can start just a little bit, bouncing a little bit on certain exercises, but not, so you swing, you don't want to swing. You just want to, so if you're doing your triceps, and you need, it's a little bit too heavy and you're trying to grow muscle, just bounce a little bit, just, you know, not swing, never swing, but just sort of try and get it up. <laughs> just a tip. Um, don't forget, this is my first one, my first sort of um, talking to you guys about different exercises, so just bear with me, I will get better in time. Yeah, so that's the single arm tricep extension. Three seconds up, three seconds down, um, controlled, shoulders back, make sure you squeeze that individual muscle. see in the video I mean I apologize the videos are pretty dark um, it's this gym but it's tricep push down with the v-bar as you can see in all the videos apart from the overhead um, cable pull you keep your arms in place you lock them in place the side of the body this one it does flare out a little bit so you can put your know, you push down and as you push down you squeeze on your tricep as well remember exactly what I said before three seconds in two seconds out and you can see my shoulder blades are locked in position they're not rotating forward they're straight back and as I push down I'm squeezing my tricep under not under control I hope it helps guys I really do of exercises for the same muscle but it's not it's actually a different muscle group so whichever angle you position your arms you are going to hit those individual heads better so you're going to get more of a growth there's more muscles in your arm than you realize it's not just like one muscle is a tricep there's all different muscles that connected together is the inner the outer and what other thing people don't realize on the bicep there's actually three muscles you've got the inner you've got the outer and then there's one that runs across the front of the bicep and runs at the side and that gives you the 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 width, but anyway, we're talking about triceps. Yeah. Standing cable tricep extensions, same as before, under controlled. I'm aware that when I did this, the cable's a little bit offset because I wanted to stand, I think this game is perpendicular, so I wanted to stand with my back literally facing the camera. So I'm aware that the cable's a little bit off to the side, which is not the best. It's my first one, so I'm just trying to show you the right form. And I'm also aware at the end, my shoulders, my elbows flare a little bit. The best way to do it is to keep your elbows in, bring your elbows in as, as tight as you can and under control and also you keep your wrist straight. Yeah, as you can see, um, my wrists are perfectly straight. So as I'm coming up, it comes up like this. Okay, you don't want to bend your wrists. You want to try and keep them as uh, firm as possible. Same as before, um, sh sh uh, shoulder blades back, under control, three seconds up through at the very top. As you square it out, always under control. <laughs>
pull down, same principle, shoulder blades back. On this one though, um, I was, it was coming towards the end of my set. So I was basically going a little bit faster to <clears throat> fill it full of blood. Okay, so it's more of a pump. Okay, at the end of exercise set that I do or group of exercises, on the last set, I go a little bit lighter and I go for a pump and I go a little bit faster than three seconds because I'm trying to flood the muscles with blood. And that's what gives you that pump effect. So when you hear people talking about the pump, it's basically they flooding the muscles as much as they can, going on a lighter weight and they keep going until they literally can't do any more and it's the blood being pumped into the muscles. So you, your muscles are just like a sponge. That's basically all it is. So you're trying to pump them up and it gives you that actually full effect. That's basically what I'm trying to do on this one. The same principles as before, shoulder blades back, keep your wrist straight at all times. And at the very end, as you fully extend your arms, you twist them out. So it's, it's, it's sort of that motion, um, but obviously in front of your body. You do want to try and keep it as close to your body as possible. <laughs> me just getting a pump on my chest i obviously do when i do um push i do my chest so this is just one of the last exercises i do on my chest just to give it a good pump and then i go on to the triceps guys i hope you enjoyed this and i hope you enjoyed the rest of my vlog um and i hope you enjoy this outro okay daddy's back from ikea now and i went to go and um, watch um city and they won Yay! They won four and the other team won nothing. I know. And it's my first game. Yeah, so I hope you liked um, the like desk thing and like Ren, you know. Just like the little, like a daily life vlog. <laughs> yeah. So I hope you liked it. And if you want to see more reckoning videos, uh, make sure you give like thumbs up and like. Subscribe, yeah, subscribe because dad is the best. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs> make, sure, make sure you see the I'll see you guys soon.